hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see about the prototype design patterns used in java so we'll see that what are the properties of prototype design pattern and how it is implemented and at the last we'll see that uh, how we can use in actual code base and in, with examples so first of all what are the properties so uh, it is creational design pattern so creation design pattern because it is related to the creation of object so that is why we call it as creation design pattern so basically uh, it is used when we want to avoid the multiple creation of the same objects so let's say if there is a vehicle list and uh, we get the uh, we create the instance to get the vehicle list now let's say again we call the get the vehicle list and again call the vehicle list so there is no point of calling the uh, calling the object for the same thing right so what we say we say that you have already get you have already got the object now just clone the object just clone the object and use according to your uh, your requirement right so that is that is the main funda of the prototype so prototype is itself in meaning it says that it has the prototype means it is a exactly same thing which that object has so now we'll see about the implementation that how we can implement the prototype design pattern so first of all the object we are trying to clone or object we are trying to prototype should provide as the copying feature so basically it should implement the clonable interface so inter so clonable interface provides us the facility of cloning the object right so after that we can override the clone method of the this interface and then we can implement as per our requirement right so let me show you through code that how it is happening so uh, this is the this is the vehicle method which i want to clone right so what i will do first of all i will implement the clonable interface now i will have this vehicle list so this is the uh, this is the private list of vehicle now i am creating the constructor of the vehicle so uh, i am saying this dot vehicle list equal to new array list i am creating a new array list and here uh, i am creating a list i am creating list if there is a i am passing the list from outside right so both are the constructor but it is default constructor and it is the parameter constructor when we are passing the list now here we are inserting the data into vehicle so let's say at the starting i inserted a data like i have this five vehicle at a time first i have this honda image audi a4 hyundai creta maruti baleno and renault duster so let's say these are the five data that i inserted at the starting now uh, this is my one of the function get vehicle list so i can simply pass this get vehicle list and it would return me the vehicle list program vehicle list complete list now here i have now here i am cloning this uh, i am cloning the i am overriding the clone method and what i am doing basically here i am deep copying the object so how so basically i know that i have this array list so i will create a new temp array list and then i would put the values of the existing array list in the existing list into this temp list so one by one i will get the uh, first of all i will get the get vehicle list and which is a string so one by one i would put the values in the temp list and after that i would return this method new temp new vehicle temp list right so it will make sure that i have copy the every every item of the vehicle list and then i am returning the clone clone object the clone thing of that object right so this is a way i can uh, i can have the prototype of the object and i can return the thing so here i am explaining that how it is happening so at the first i will create the vehicle object and i will add the insert data so once i will insert the data it will initialize the all values so let me explain you through code through debug one by one so here uh, i will initialize the vehicle and i am initializing the blank array list now i will now i am inserting the data so once i am inserting the data it will add all these values now uh, i am cloning it so once i go in the cloning list first of all it will create a new temp list and one by one it will uh, it will get the vehicle list and one by one it will add the values so here it is adding the values in a temp list and then it is uh, it is returning with this new vehicle where bypassing this list one so now uh, you can see this is the b so now uh, if you first of all if you get this vehicle list so 
here you can see that first of all what was the original list so in original list you have these values right like i told you earlier we have the honda image oda4 creta baleno dust now when i added the when i added the item into clonable list so if you print this one so you can see that honda new image so this item which i added so it has inserted into the new one not the earlier one now let's say if i uh, if i remove the item from the clonable list so here you can see it has removed the item and let's say if you again print the this original list right it would give me the same it would give me the original item so let's say if i if i print the item here again so now here you can see this list is still maintained so that is the benefit we get in the prototype that we are not we are not updating or we are not changing the original object the original object is still intact we are just we are just copying the uh, copying the original object and then we can modify according to our requirement like we are doing here right so that is that is how that is how we implemented the prototype design pattern it is very useful when we want to avoid creating of the multiple object and then we can uh, we can clone the thing and then we can use as per our need so that's it guys for this uh, video uh, for this design patterns if you have any doubt related to it please write in the comment section and uh, please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you